Now, for many of us, cow's milk is the default cheese dairy. But what about the sheep? Sheep's milk has unique properties that suits many with digestive challenges. I like the way you put that. Or those who are allergic to cow's milk. And joining us now is cheesemonger Kevin Sheridan to educate us on sheep's milk cheese. Good morning to you, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. We're having the chats during the break about yep. yogurt and milk and everything. Do most of our cheeses in the fridge at home? Prepare for lots of silly questions now. No, no, no. Uh, are they the cheeses from cow's milk? Yeah, I mean, yeah. almost entirely. Okay. Know, really? we very we drink very little other type of milk and we, we eat very little other types of cheese. And, you know, just go drive around the countryside. But there's a lot of sheep. And a lot of yeah. people that come in from abroad go, you know, cheese makers have to come over and say, where's all the sheep's milk cheese? Right. Because you see all the sheep. But very few of the flocks are actually milking flocks, which is slightly different. But we do have, over the last few years, we've got more and more goat's milk cheeses. Yeah, goat's cheese, 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 cheese is very popular. Yeah, yeah. And sheep's milk is coming. But some of the classics you look for is always made with sheep's milk, for really? example. It's only made right. with sheep's milk. So, you know, it's it's their feta. And we all eat that quite a lot. And that's always sheep's, sheep's milk, milk. A little bit okay. of goat's milk in there as well. But there's some great Irish ones I've got. So here's some milk. Let's start with start how it all start starts. Start with the basics. Have a Cheers. try of that. Normally so this is from Claire Morris, uh, Michael and Ashley down there. And they've got their own flock of sheep. Really rich taste. It is. It's so it? creamy, it's isn't it? So creamy. Yeah. It's, it's such, it's, it is the richest milk. It's got it's a a meal twice the protein and fat content of, of cow's milk. So it's 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 That's extremely incredible. nutritious, um, and it makes a brilliant you know Greek yogurt. And it's yeah. quite the buzz at the moment. Mm -hmm. That was all originally sheep's milk. That thick yogurt yeah. is naturally sheep's milk yogurt. Right. Here's some here again. This is uh, Velvet Cloud from Claire Morris. Um, and that's their sheep's and it's really and lovely. Their sheep's milk yogurt. Yeah, it's just again, it's just that richness. It has this it's just naturally rich, yeah, naturally creamy. Is it better for us? It's the, the fat globules are much larger, they are easier for a digestion system right. to deal with. Okay. Um, so they still have lactose in it, you know, so if you're lactose intolerant, that's it's, yeah, it yeah. still has that. But uh, apparently you can digest it much easier, your, okay. your stomach can deal with, with it much easier. So okay. it's really, really good. But well, taste the yogurt. Yeah, you absolutely. Yogurt taste I'm a yogurt, yogurt fan. fan. Simon was, was telling us during the break that he never eats yogurt, but never your eaten, children right. eat it by the gallon. Or by the wheelbarrow. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't it? Mm. You know, and that's a pure Creamier. natural yogurt, but very, very full flavour. Yeah, really So you've nice. got the milk and then the yogurt, which is just adding cultures to it and thickens it right. up. And then the next stage the cheese. is cheese. Bring it on. So this is the same family okay. uh, in Claire Mars. They're making the... And this is the, this is cheese doesn't even have a name yet. This is an experimental cheese. Oh, so right. we're the first people... Um, Are you telling us we're the guinea pigs for this? Oh, well, yeah, I've tried a little bit myself. <laughs> kind of. Oh, I don't so mind. this is it here. But it's interesting to see those three stages of the milk. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, so do you want to have a little... Yes. So what have do we have here? Of, this one? So this is the one from Claire Morris. Okay. Claire Morris. Yeah. And again, you, you might have heard... the. the Italian word for sheep is pecorino. It's pecora. Mm, I was just going to so say, it's like a pecorino or a parmesan. Yeah, because pecorino is always sheep's milk. Oh, that's where man, the word comes that's from. good. It's like it's a nuttiness to it, isn't yeah, there? Yeah. Straight really away, great I'm for thinking about as well. five different dishes I could use that yeah, on. Really Pasta lovely. Pasta particularly. Mm. That's beautiful. This is our second cheese, and oh, this yeah. is from uh, a herd in North County Tipperary, uh, Cautionatera, it's called. Um, and this is it here. That's this one here. That's this one here. Okay, so it's less feathery. A little bit sweeter, yeah, different kind of... Um, book, grand, book. We're having a full like calorie caramel. morning, aren't we? It's amazing, isn't it? It's mm. different. Yeah. Sheep's milk makes fantastic cheese. That's not as salty. No, one. and again, it's a little recipe, you know, differences yeah. between the cheese makers. That's and that's beautiful. the lovely thing about farmhouse cheese is each one is oh, a little so bit unique. different. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. So good. And where's uh, that from? Um, that's North County Tipperary. Lovely. It's actually made in Galway, but the herd is in North County Tipperary. Mm. Caution Tira. And then this is Crozier Blue, which, as I was saying, all Rockford is made for sheep's milk. Yeah. So sheep's milk makes brilliant blue cheese. Right. These people make Casha Blue, but there's also a flock of uh, sheep's, a sheep. Casha uh, Blue, you had well. that the last time. Yeah, so this is the sister to Crozier Blue. Which is yeah. often used in salads and things, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. lovely, lovely cooking and crumbling mm. cheese, yeah. So that's if you want to try it. <coughs> right, that. yeah. Here, what does it get down now? I never smiled it. So this is... Crozier blue. Crozier blue, which is yeah. like a sister to, to Cashel, Cashel yeah. blue. The sheep's milk allows us to mature it a little bit longer so we can get a bit more flavour. So it is a big flavour cheese. Flavour. But this is actually new season. This is the first cheese of the season because the sheep aren't milking over the winter time. So this is just early spring milk. And now this is our first cheese. It actually isn't on sale yet. This is the first, again, another really? first for you here today. This is the first Crozier Blue of this year. Worst so it's delicious. quite light oh. for a Crozier Blue. Yeah. So good in a salad, that would be. Yeah, no, mm. lovely. Just it's got walnuts. Walnuts, and, a little yeah. dressing. Oh. Beautiful. 
And the reason I've got these all today is we've got our Irish Food Festival tomorrow. So okay. these are three of 110 uh, small food producers, which will be all in North County Mead tomorrow. And uh, you can come meet the lambs. We'll have the lambs there ah. that are actually from the cheese. They're being and some can of the farms. Get details on your website. On the website on and our times. Facebook page, it's all there. It's a, actually the biggest food festival in Ireland for small producers. And, uh, can I go uh, back to that first one there, Kevin? Because I, I just want to taste that first one again. Yeah, absolutely. If you don't mind. Because that well, good is for just people to think about keeping business local, isn't it? And supporting exactly. all of those just, smaller farmers. I mean, farmers. we do this. Uh, we do it every year, this is our eighth time, just to come and meet mm. the producers because yeah. each of the people who make these cheeses, the animals, <coughs> we're actually doing workshops for kids on sheep and tomorrow. And you as well. get to meet the lambs. And you get to meet the lambs. Kevin, brilliant. Thank you, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.